Well, hi, everybody. This is your stay-at-home grandma, and I'm bringing you Wednesday's tricks. Yes, Wednesday's tricks. We are making fabric softener the old-fashioned way. Um, and it only takes three. Three. Well, it could take four, but I don't use the shampoo, okay, or the hair softener because that's not what I, I'm about. So it takes three. I'll tell you what it is. Well, of course, first, the jar. Okay, if you want to make a gallon or so, that's a little different. We're going to have one cup of water. One cup of water. One cup of White House distilled white vinegar. No, it's two cups. I'm sorry. This is my two cup um, measuring cup. Two cups. So two cups of water, two cups of vinegar. Hey, even I make mistakes. I'm going to pour this in here. Okay, so now, to make it smell, because you don't want your clothes to smell like vinegar, but that's what I remember my grandmother doing it like this, and making the fat, and it keeps it from staying. I'm going to put some lavender. I'm going to put 40 drops of lavender. You know, I always have so much oil. Put this on. Shake it up. Make it some playing a little song there, huh? And there you have smell. Yeah. And you can't smell the vinegar. And there you have your oil. You can put it in a bottle if you wish, you know, like a gallon bottle. You can wash your clothes and you can put it in there. So sometimes when you're out of um, fabric softener or you just don't want to spend the money on fabric softener, you can spend the money on something else. Fabric softener now costs, let's get it from the dollar store. Um, I think we'll, we'll, we'll do this, the sheets later, but... Fabric softener in itself, I think, costs like five or six dollars. Might cost more, I don't know. But I don't use it, I use this. So, here, if you like this, like, share, and subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section, and I will talk to you later. I love you. Take care. God bless. See you in the next video. Bye bye.